Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, yes again. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Today I am here with more information about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 devices thanks to the fact that they have been listed on Geekbench 6. It seems like the Galaxy Tab S9 series is likely to offer at least 4 entries, including the Tab S9, S9 Plus, S9 Ultra, and S9 Fe with a light version. The Galaxy Tab S9 with the model designation SMX716B is equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset with the primary Cortex-X3 processor clocked at 3.36 gigahertz and 8 gigabytes ram the device achieved a remarkable single core score of 1929 points and an amazing multi-core score of 4735 points and according to the listing the tablet is operating on android version 13 most likely with one ui 5.1 on top then the galaxy tab s9 ultra with the model number smx 916 b was able to get an even more amazing score of 2054 points for its single core performance and 5426 points for its multi-core performance the device operates on Android 13 with One UI 5.1 on top, and it has the same chipset and RAM combination as the Galaxy Tab S9 tablet. It is anticipated that the forthcoming Ultra model tablet would have a design that is analogous to that of its predecessor, complete with a 14.6-inch Super AMOLED display, an 11,200 mAh battery, and 45 watts charging capabilities along with boasting IP68 water and dust protection. In addition to the standard and Ultra tablets, Geekbench has seen the appearance of two additional Samsung devices, both of which are are suspected of being the Galaxy Tab S9 Fe or else the light. The first one has the model code SMX516B, and the second one has the code SMX616B. Both of these gadgets are operated by Android 13 and are powered by the Exynos 1380 So. The SMX516B, on the other hand, only has 6GB of RAM built in, while the SMX616B has 8GB and in addition to this, their scores differ. The SMX516B received a higher score, however, these are most likely pre-production devices. Therefore it is recommended to wait for the retail models to evaluate their performance before making a decision. Well, it is not apparent whether these tablets are the Galaxy Tab S9 Fe or the Tab S9 Lite because the Galaxy Tab S8 series from the previous year did not include either of these variants. And on the other hand, the Tab S7 lineup included a Fe model, while the Tab S6 lineup included a light variety. Finally, in light of the aforementioned, it is common knowledge that Samsung's Galaxy Tab S9 lineup features a plus variant with the model designation SMX716B. We have not yet seen it on Geekbench, but it is likely that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy will be at the helm of the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus, just like its vanilla and ultra counterparts. With that said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.